Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have another election map update. Like, share, and sub, and comment telling us who you are voting for before you watch the video. Let's get into it. When we look at the updated election map, we see four differences. What are those differences? Let's get into the video. With Washington, 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon, with eight electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. California, with 54 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska, at the bottom left, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald Trump. Hawaii, to the right of Alaska, with four electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Montana, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, with six electoral votes, is a toss-up. It will not be colored in. It could go either Donald Trump or Kamala Harris. Utah, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, with 11 electoral votes, is a toss-up. It is gray. It will not be filled in. It could go either to Donald J. Trump or Kamala Harris. Wyoming, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, with five electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Texas, with 40 electoral votes, has flipped heavy red again for Donald J. Trump. It goes from red to light pink to very, very light pink, but now it's heavy red according to recent national polls. North Dakota, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, with its two districts, is red in Nebraska. The first district, the bigger one, is red for Donald J. Trump. And the tiniest district is now blue for Kamala Harris. Kansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma, with seven electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota, don't you know, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris and the Democrats. Iowa, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri, with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with eight electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Now, Wisconsin is gray. It is heavily being considered to be a toss-up. It was leaning heavily blue, but it will not be colored in. Illinois, with 19 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Michigan, with 15 electoral votes, is gray. It is a toss-up once again after Trump's recent rally. Indiana, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio, with 17 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky, with 8 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, you're the only 10 I see with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, with its six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida, keeps turning pink, bright red, light pink, bright pink, full red, and 30 electoral votes is now heavy red again. Georgia, with 16 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump once more. It's been a toss up being blue, light blue, light pink, pink, and red. South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, according to recent polls due to rallies, is red for Donald J. Trump. And people are scared about North Carolina people. They're very, very scared because it's been light pink and a toss up too. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is blue 
for Kamala Harris and the Democrats. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country road, is red for Donald J. Trump. Um, Pennsylvania, according to recent polls, Trump is gaining ground there once more. He needs to win this in order to win the presidency and his one of three pathways to victory. Now, Maine, the top right, is now once again not light blue, not light pink, but red for Donald J. Trump. The rest of them, New York, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, uh, the province of Washington, D.C., and Maryland are all blue for Kamala Harris. This is the current electorate. We are um, looking at 268 for Donald J. Trump and 221 for Kamala Harris. But let's fill in Arizona and Nevada for Kamala Harris and see how it changes. And Wyoming and Michigan. She would be at 263, Donald Trump's 268. But let's fill in Nevada for Donald J. Trump and Arizona and Wisconsin and Michigan to the right. That would put him at 310. These are just assumptions. Those boxes are now going to be put in the toss-up zone so, this is the current election map if you add the toss-ups to Kamala Harris or Donald J. Trump. Who are you voting for and why? And baby, who do you think or want to win? I want Donald Trump to win. All right, you heard it from the lady first. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. Electorally voted.